Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentine and today I've got a long one for you guys. I think this is gonna be a girthy AF video. It is a large haul, an antique haul. I don't, I didn't realize how much crap I had so <laughs> I think it's a bit longer than I intended it to be. So please grab yourself a drink, a delicious little treat, relax, get comfy, get cozy because today we're going through some antiques. <laughs> video kind of in the works for almost two years. Today I'm going to be doing an antique haul and antiquing can take a while. It's not like, you know, go to Michael's and buy all of your favorite stuff the way I can with Halloween or like at home and Target and all that stuff. Like some, we usually get like previews and we can figure out what it is we want. We can just go and get everything right. With antiquing, you have to be a bit more mindful and selective, especially for me because I live in a hot spot for antiques. Antiquing is wildly popular here, but to the point to where it's like mainstream. <laughs> like it is it is mainstream to have interesting items here. To me it's a little bit harder to get some antiques at like reasonable prices. I've got some antiques. I have some antiques, but most of what I have is considered vintage and my mom really likes to correct me on this. My mom was an estate liquidator and an auctioneer. So one, that's where my love of antiques come from, comes from. And then two, my mom definitely likes to <laughs> be like, that's not an antique, that's vintage. I don't know if these rules have changed. My mom hasn't been an estate liquidator for about 15 years, but essentially if it's older than 20 years, it's vintage. If it's older than 100 years, it's an antique. The vast majority, I will say antique, you know, but the vast majority of my stuff, I think would technically be considered a vintage. So let's go ahead and begin. Oh, what was I saying? I was saying that it takes a while to like procure and accumulate reasonably, reasonably priced vintage antique items. So it's just, these are all things I don't want to come across. Like I just went to an antique store and I just, bought everything in the building. Um, no, <laughs> no, 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 that did not happen. These I have been procuring as gifts or as purchases for myself for the last, I don't know, maybe like two years. Let's go ahead and begin. And I figured let's start with some wall stuff. <laughs> because that I think has been a huge focus of mine with like vintage antique pieces is finding things to build gallery walls. Number one, let's start out with, what should I start out with? I don't know what to start out with. So, mm -mm -mm, this is made in Italy. So that's cool. Um, but it's definitely not an antique portrait. It's like lady on the swing. I don't remember the the actual name, but I'm pretty sure it's called like Lady on the Swing. Love and Swings. <laughs> but it is a print, as you can see by the shine. And yeah, I just thought that it came with like a gorgeous ornate frame. And obviously I am down for that swinging lady. It's got little cherubs and floral elements to it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty popular painting so I'm sure you guys have seen it before. One of the reasons like if I see something that has like a really ornate frame for a really good price I kind of jump on it because in my mind if I really wanted to I could paint over this or like put some animal bones or something and reuse this frame. An actual painting I wouldn't do that but because it's just a print I don't necessarily mind. I tack a skull onto it or something. But when I see frames like this, if they're under $40, I feel like that's a steal, especially given the size. This piece, I definitely need to clean, but even if I clean it, most of the gunk is from the inside. It's very old. It's very delicate. A little bit scared. <laughs> a little bit scared, but it is dried floral <laughs> framed piece. It has like a dome and some beveled metal. I believe it's brass. It's just absolutely stunning. It already has some 
verdi verdigree? verdigree? It's basically like oxidize oxidization of metal. But I think it looks cool and I like it that way. You can see it like up here on some of the flowers. So let's get a little bit of a better look. They're super old. It's very delicate and it's one of my favorite pieces. I think we got it for $50. Then I got this on Mercari. It is these round. It came in a set of three. I only have two to show you. It's like these gilded Victorian style portraits. Um, I just loved the gilded. Like, it, like the black bit right there. I think that is so beautiful. I want to paint the frames because the frames aren't really my style, like my color palette, if you will. But I got three of them. They're all the same size. They had a large one. I was eyeing the larger one for a hot minute. I really wanted it. <laughs> and then here, these are, are these tiny little red velvet tasseled portraitures of, I believe they're duchesses. And I think they're gorgeous. I am obsessed with those tiny ornate portraits of duchesses and queens and noble ladies. But when I saw these, I just thought they were really unique. Uh, I've seen a lot of ones like let me just snag this one off the wall real quick. I've seen a lot of ones like this. You know, like smaller framed ones. But I haven't seen so many just on these velvet wall hangings. And I, I especially love anything with tassels. I'm a big fan of tassels. That sounds a little... I'm not gonna say what that sounds like. I got those at a tiny antique store out to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> my uh, Honey Buns' dad, my father-in-law, <laughs> that is so weird, I still can't get used to that. He lives in a very small town in the middle of nowhere. But because it's in the middle of nowhere, there's like a bunch of tiny, like obscure antique stores. Next, this one. This one came with a, a two piece <laughs> and the other one has a man. Nate kind of a sculpture of a ornate Baroque lady. I think she's gorgeous. I have her hanging like above my lamp on my bedside table in our bedroom and I have the matching dude <laughs> hanging up on honey buns's side of the bed anything that has a face on it like a human face i will probably want to own it so next is cameo of mrs croca <laughs> and it's also like a little wall shelf and it's super i think it's like a, a resin it's not metal by any means but I just liked how ornate it was. I also liked that it is a wall shelf. It also came as a set and I actually have it hanging up next to my lady and Honey Buns' dude. It's just a, a nice little touch above our, our bed. This one also came from Honey Buns' mom, so my mother-in-law. She got this for us for Christmas as well. And it's one of those cameos like like this guy, right? But look at the size difference. <laughs> I believe it's 16 inches. I lost it. I was like, I have to freaking have that because it just, I like really large things. <laughs> I like the small ones. And if you want a good gallery wall, you guys, you have to have some of the smaller ones and like the weird shaped ones to fill out the corner if you're going for like a maximalist gallery wall. But when I saw this this guy, I was like, holy crap, that's such a good size. And again, it has a partner. This kind of like trio of what I've shown you, the last two in this one, is what I have above our bedside tables. I'm actually probably gonna change that up a bit, like like the position that they're in right now because I got some lamps, which y'all will see in this video, that are really big, <laughs> like really, really big. And I, these are too low. I'm 
trying to slow down in purchasing the cameos because I feel like it's really easy to go overboard with cameos. But again, for some reason, I'm like super into faces. Hey, if it has some kind of filigree or like ornamentation, this is very old. This is metal and it is another dried floral. It's stunning and it came with a sister that I, I just, dried floral pieces, I honestly just can't get enough of them. I tried my hand at creating some floral pieces from my wedding. They turned out really wonky. I don't have something of this caliber. I mean, like that is absolutely perfect perfection when it comes to floral placements. This next one I actually got from the Oddities and Curiosities Expo that's pretty popular. I actually didn't buy it at the expo. I saw it at the expo, didn't buy it, and then <laughs> and then I messaged the lady who owns the shop that I got this from. It's the Buried Witch. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, the vendor was the Buried Witch. The owner of The Buried Witch is amazing. She's so sweet. She's so kind. She has a she has a website where she basically curates some really great gothic pieces. But when I saw this, I fell in love with him and then I didn't get him. And I saw someone post about him on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, like why didn't I buy it? I believe it was my friend Haunted Ghoul. So I messaged her, the buried witch, and was just like, is there any way I can get this? And she was so sweet. So, uh, 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 look at him. Isn't he so cute? But look at his cute ass face, his little mustache, and his hair. His hair. Oh my God. He's precious. And look at this frame. I mean, this is really large. Like, I don't think... I don't think this is doing it justice. Like the Buried Witch, definitely check her out. She's got some great gems. So this next piece is able to be hung up on the wall. It also has like a, a stand in the back, but it is not vintage by any means, but it has like a vintage look. And a lot of these coffin boards are so one dimensional. I really like the gold accents on this board. This was actually from my friend Brittany or Britt. She has a small shop called Felt Creative Home and she sells her stuff on Amazon. I actually have a couple of things from her. I bought a, she has like a tiered tray. Like it's basically a gothic farmhouse tiered tray. And she's since then added so much more to her shop. And this is one of them. Um, This is, this was sent to me, but it is, not sponsored at all in any capacity. She's just an amazing person that I really want to support. And so yeah, it comes with these little letters that you can put whatever message you want on it. So I put it back to the way she had it when she gave it to me, but I actually used this at my bridal shower. So at my bridal shower, it said, um, till death do us part, Valentine and honey buns. Uh, it didn't actually say Valentine and Honey Buns. It had his name. But yeah, it was perfect at our goth-themed bridal shower, couple shower. Yeah, it was a couple shower. I don't think it's a bridal shower. Is that what you call it? And if I had a baby shower, I would also want to get this. She also gave me a smaller little frame. Look! It's, I definitely want to use this and put some, like, punny little things for our coffee bar. I have an alternative use for him of this giant board. I think I'm gonna use him for a pin board. So when Honey and Buns and I went to Salem, we got a bunch of pins and I got this one. It says my beloved and it's kind of like a morning replica pin. Is seriously perfect for showcasing like gothic pins. I got this one as well from uh, the Satanic Temple in Salem. There's an artist, Nona Lemon. She had an art gallery up at the Satanic Temple when Honey Buns and I went to Salem for my best friend's wedding. I didn't know she was gonna be there, you guys. I was like so excited. Like, look 
how perfect that is at holding our pins. So we could have like a little message going on and our little pins from our trips. Yeah, I was so excited when I saw Nona Lemon at Nona. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if you ever watch this and I'm botching it. But she had an art gallery showing at the Satanic Temple and it was such amazing timing because I've been a huge fan of hers on Instagram for like a very long time. So when we went to the Satanic Temple and I walked in and saw her like art everywhere and like her installations, I was just like, this is being meant to be. And then when we left, I thought we definitely need some souvenirs. And so I bought a Satanic Temple mug and I also had to buy one of Nona's pins, Honey Buns and I. We decided that we were going to collect pins everywhere we travel and place them on our little board, our like love board. I'm not affiliated with Amazon or anything like that. You guys, like I'm not getting anything out of this. This guy, so I think this was, I think this is from like the 80s or the 70s, but it is one of these Victorian home picture frames. They're really popular. I got this guy maybe a year ago and I've tried to accumulate more. I had this whole goal of having like a bunch of little houses. If y'all don't know, I am like absolutely obsessed with miniatures and like Victorian dollhouses. And I had this whole idea where I was going to paint this and add some clay pumpkins and like little gargoyles and make it kind of like spooky. And for the inside, like the little picture dudes, I was gonna draw me and honey buns and I was gonna fill in one of these windows with uh, Kitty Wino, our cat, Honey Buns and I, and our family. <laughs> I was thinking of maybe doing like a ghost up in the attic or something. But anyways, yeah, so I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for any of these little houses because I just want to establish like a wall of, <laughs> of like little houses. Oh no, <laughs> what is with me and walls of stuff. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this one. This one is like holy grail antiques. This is a, it's not a real painting, but it did have someone added brush strokes to it. But look at this frame, you guys. Holy shit. I'm like inhaling dust. Um, but yeah, it is, has the most beautiful frame. It's black, it's florals on a black background. I couldn't find anything more perfect. And like, it's just such a unique, oh my God, my arm is like completely extended. It's huge. I think it's like three feet tall. I think it actually is three feet tall. I'm not exaggerating. It's very beautiful. It has a really ornate frame. I loved the dark background with the florals. It is by far one of my favorite pieces. I got this, I believe it was a hundred and like $15, which given its size and what it is, I'm like, that was totally worth it. It might be vintage rep, like a replication. It probably is like a, a replication, but it is pretty old. It's super fucking heavy. It is like solid brass. It's gorgeous. It has these little like a gargoyle. They're more like birds, I guess, like peacocks. Oh, but down here, there's some lions and there's like lion feet. It is one of my favorite pieces uh, that I've ever got. I had like a dream of, you know, candelabras and I finally, finally got one. Let me go back to finish up with wall stuff. It's a, It came in a set of two. You guys might've already seen it actually during Yule. Really gorgeous very sharp metal bouquets at the top. And then there's like the vase structure. And then I believe it's like little cherubs. So yeah, I got two of these. Um, I got them, I think for 75, something like that. It wasn't too bad. And I actually later saw someone selling one of these for like a hundred. I thought, damn, I got a good, I got a good deal because I got two of them. My hands are feeling real weird. And I think that's basically it for wall stuff. I have a lot more 
I just, I think that's all that I got in the last couple of years. Moving on, I got this at an antique store. It's definitely not an antique, I don't think at all. I don't even think it's vintage. No, it came from World Market. <laughs> but I got it at an antique store for <laughs> like two bucks. And it's just this cute, very cozy looking pitcher. I use it to water my plants. House plants, they're technically mama moons, but she has not been doing that good of a job keeping up with her plants. And I got her this because it's very easy for her to carry. If you guys don't know mama moon, she had a stroke. A long time ago so so a lot of the time I try to think of things that are easy for her and large pitchers are much too heavy for her so I got her this cute little guy that's where I got this from and it, it literally is engraved with world market at the bottom so not exactly an antique or vintage but it goes along with the style this is antique crystal it is a crystal decanter with this silver plated stopper it's very ornate and engraved. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. I think there's some grapes, you know, Dionysus style. It's obviously for wine, but it is crystal. It does have lead in it, so I do not use it for consumption. I actually use this in my witchcraft for water. But specifically, I've been waiting for like a good storm to fill this up with, storm water. Then this, I got this for uh, my wedding. I actually got two of these and they are very gorgeous vintage silver goblets. My friend Inkfall, she's an amazing artist. She helped me pick these out for my wedding. And I am forever grateful to you, Brie, because you were right. These were phenomenal to drink out of at my wedding. We filled them up with uh, dry ice. It was very magical. Bubbling concoction out of these like vintage goblets. It was, it was great. I loved it. And then this guy, this is an antique lamp base. It is very heavy. It's very ornate and I love it. And I thought with this, I could use it for many things. I thought in my witchcraft, I could use it as like a pendulum board, but what I actually ended up using it for, or what I plan on using it for uh, is a base for a cloche. I have a bunch of cloches from my wedding that are left over and I'm wanting to put the cloches on top. It's more of like a DIY project that I want to do. You guys, my house is so dusty. Like, that probably doesn't help with all the antiques. Leave this as an antique. I don't know. But it is gorgeous. Very old. I don't remember what it's called. Or Ormulu? 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 I don't know how to say it. And it is like a specific style where it has these very small beveled brass pieces. It might even be like a form of copper or just like a colored aluminum or tin. And usually it has this like amber color, but it is a jewelry box. So it has this like window where you can open it up and put all your jewels inside. Love this piece. This is a brass <laughs> pilgrim lady a towel holder. Like I said, I love faces. Oh God, she's so heavy. Sorry, I'm like hitting the microphone. I love faces. I love, I love figural pieces. She is a towel holder and I think I got her for like 50 bucks. I've seen her on eBay go for way more than that. So definitely take your time. Try to find good deals. They are out there. You just have to look and be extremely patient. I got her for much cheaper than what I've seen her go. I've seen her go for like 300. Uh, I, yeah, I did not spend that much. She's stunning. I love her. She's meant to be a towel rack, like a towel holder, but I am thinking of using her as an herb drying rack above my altar. I use a lot of antique pieces for my witchcraft. Whew, man, that is a lot of shit and I am not even done. I'm not even done, oh my God. 
Okay, so the next pieces I'm going to talk about, but I can't carry them. They're very large, so I will probably insert a clip of me showcasing them right now. So the next one is these gorgeous, super ornate chandelier table lamps. I absolutely love this table lamp. I got two of them. Uh, these I bought on Facebook Marketplace for, I believe it was like 115 or 120 for both, which I thought was like a super, super awesome deal. I'm going to have them rewired though. If you are interested in having antique light fixtures, you should definitely look into rewiring them for fire and safety. It holds light bulbs at the bottom of these little arms. So all of these light up and then there's like the main light bulb and then there's these chandelier pieces. It is missing some crystal prisms, but I'm totally fine with that. It's very easy to find replacements on eBay or Etsy lampshades. So I'm thinking I'm doing of, of doing a video of me trying my hand at making a vintage lampshade. Let me know if you guys want to see that because I feel like I'm not going to be very good at it. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to deck it out with some fringe and just like make it beautiful. I'm also planning on doing like a whole bedroom revamp video. That is a, pro a work in progress right now. You guys are kind of getting some sneak peeks into that. Onto the next piece, which is also in my bedroom and which will also be a part of the bedroom revamp. And that would be my bed frame. So my bed frame is pretty old. It is hand carved and it is like dovetailed. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for, I'll have to go back and look at the listing, but I believe I got it for $250. I got this, I think, two years ago, but we didn't have a king size mattress. We just got a king size mattress like a month ago. I was super excited when I found this mattress frame or bed frame because it is, I think it's oak and it's stunning. It's like the perfect kind of like, it's it's kind of like a red brown, like a walnut-y color. It's, I don't know, it's gorgeous. I love it. Almost like, I guess cherry, like a cherry wood color. I think it's so pretty. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. It's really hard to find a bed set that would go with this. And it's been pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie and I think it's partially because the color of the bed frame, but I don't want to change it So I'm gonna try to figure out something. Yeah, it's a, again part of like the bedroom kind of revamp thing All right, you guys that is it for my antique haul. I can't I feel like I can't say that is it because it was pretty freaking large I definitely have more antiques that I can probably do a part two with and I have some more coming in. Let me know if you guys are into antique haul videos. It might take me a little while to accumulate some more enough to do like a girthy video like this. I was also wanting to do a antique witchcraft video, like procuring antiques for my altar and for my witchy spaces, because that is an aesthetic that I really enjoy. Let me know. And let me know if y'all want to see me try my hand at DIYing any of the DIYs that I've mentioned throughout this video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, night, morning, wherever you are when this video finds you. I hope you're having a good moment. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Bye, guys.